we're just out here today flipping this outside grass edge on this windblown shoreline really it's pretty basic you know you just kind of got to cover water till you find a little pot of fish and pick through them and then just keep moving on but it's super effective way in these warm water months to really catch some good fish when i'm picking apart these weed lines i'm really just i'm trying to stay fairly vertical letting the bait fall on a slack line just making short little pitches not making big long casts so i, I guess you could say i'm kind of yo-yoing it through up and down through the weeds you know you could really probably use up to a half ounce if you wanted to in this particular situation but i like to have that bait fall maybe a little bit slower and i mean with how sparse the weeds are you really you don't need anything more than a quarter ounce you're not you're not having to punch through anything and it just in my opinion it swims and kind of falls a little better the lighter you, you go when i'm picking especially on a flipping bite you know it's not a ton of electronics usually i kind of know where the weed lines are you know you can kind of buzz around in side image and kind of figure out where your weed lines are and maybe find some different pockets and whatnot but really i love to fish a, a windblown weed edge because i mean the wind's just pushing all that bait into there just like that get smoked and it's, yeah awesome because they're up in there chasing that bait around and they just crush it it's hard to beat a flipping bite it's awesome there we go so when i'm flipping it's spot lock here so we don't get blown up in there but personally I, i'm a i'm a big proponent of heavy a heavy rod i mean i like being able to horse that fish out of wherever they're biting from whether they're in thick vegetation or even just the sparse stuff i i feel the faster i can get them out of there the better chance i have of landing them so i'm using you know 15 to 17 pound floral usually then a higher gear ratio reel so you can really pick up on them and then you know a longer i usually like an over seven foot rod so this one's a seven two heavy power with a softer tip so you can still kind of feel that bite pretty well and horsing them out of there is nice <laughs> 